Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today's topic of discussion is going to be on AWS S3 access point. In this very short video, I'm going to talk about what is Amazon S3 access point and a demo to reinforce about the same. What is S3 access point? You'll find nowadays Amazon S3 is increasingly used to store shared data sets, that's data being accessed by different applications, teams, and individuals. These are used for analytics, machine learning, real-time monitoring, and also for data lakes purposes. Using a single bucket policy for controlling access to hundreds of these applications, and that too with different permission levels, becomes more complex as the data sets grow. So what Amazon S3 Access Point does is it simplifies data access for any AWS service or customer application by creating unique access control policies for each access point to easily control access to these shared data sets. This makes it easier to scale access for hundreds of applications by creating these personalized access points with names and permissions which are customized for each application. It also helps us overcome the bucket policy limitation of 20 KB by introducing more policies through these access points. So guys, to put across uh, the points that we have discussed in the slide, here is a diagram that I've created. Now, if you look at this diagram closely, you'll find that all these three entities, mind it, I've taken, for simplicity, I've taken a name as a uh, data user one. Now this can either be a user, it can be an application, anything that is trying to access the objects or files from S3 bucket. You'll find that all these entities are using the same endpoint, the URL, to access different data sets. The only way to control access to the S3 bucket is the bucket policy. So you'll find that more the number of users and applications, along with it, the data grows as well. The more information goes here into the S3 bucket, more difficult it becomes to manage the bucket policy at scale. Instead, we can introduce S3 access points, personalized individual access point for users, groups, or applications. You'll find that when we create these access point, a unique ARN with this format is created. If you look at this format closely, this is a simple structure. Here we have ARN colon AWS colon S3. Then comes the region, which region you're creating these access points because these are regional constructs unique account id colon access point slash now next is whatever is your access point name so here we have defined data user one hyphen ap as the access point slash object slash asterisk or star defines here all the resources in the bucket but you can also define a prefix and then you can define the objects within those prefix that defines the scope of the control. Now, the prefix that I'm talking about is the folder structure, as you see in Amazon S3 bucket. So every access point that you create will have access point policy associated with it, controls which user or application will have access to this access point. And the bucket policy that we have will now define that which AP will have what level of permission. Once we have created the access point, the data users, instead of using this endpoint as the way to access the bucket, each user or application will have their own personalized, in the format mentioned here, their own personalized access points. So what we are going to do in the lab is we will create S3 bucket and this S3 bucket will have different data sets. The bucket will also have a bucket policy and the bucket policy will allow access to the bucket. I mean to the objects inside the bucket, but it must allow only through the access points. And to test that we are going to create data users. Now these data users that I'm going to create, what's required is they must have individual access points to be able to perform operations on the objects 
So we will create these data users, but we are going to create them with minimal access to S3 buckets directly. Now what I mean by directly here is they must not be able to perform any put or delete by sending a request to the endpoint, the S3 bucket endpoint directly, but they will have access only through the access point. The access point that we will create will have we will have a policy defined for them as well and we will allow only put operation that means uh, the data user should be able to upload from within the access point and not otherwise that's the whole plan so we are going to follow this and i'm going to show you step by step how to do all of these here is the management console and i'm logged in already let me open iam identity and access management because we are going to create the users needed to perform the lab and also i'm going to open s3 management console to be able to create the bucket as per the need so let's create the iam users first i've already created data user 1 and data user 2 let me show you what policy data user 1 has if you can see I have created an inline policy at the data user with minimal access to S3 buckets directly. They must have access through access point only to perform most of the operations. Now looking at data user 1, if you look at the minimal S3 access policy, the inline policy that I've defined, he can get access point, list all the buckets, list access point and list bucket. That means the user will be able to perform list operations and will be able to get access point details for data user 3 let me create the name is data user 3 and i want to give the data user 3 access to the management console using a custom password that's the password that i want to give and i want to copy permissions from existing users so that i don't have to define the same permissions again and again so I'm going to copy exactly the same that we have seen for data user one. So we've got data user one, data user two, and data user three. Now let's go ahead and let's create a bucket. So I'm going to create a bucket, pick a unique name. That's access point demo bucket. S3 bucket with different data sets and bucket policy which allows access only through access points from the account. So data sets, I'm going to define them as data set 1 as the folders. Data set 2. And data set 3. And let's go ahead and define permissions keep block public access as it is we don't want anybody to have access uh, to the bucket except for i'm going to edit the policy now if you look at the policy it's clear that it allows all the principles action all s3 related action on resource on whatever is your bucket name so in our case the bucket name is and what about this arn where are you going to find this information so guys if you look cl closely when you are trying to edit the bucket policy right here it shows you your bucket arn that's what you're going to pick i've picked the same and specified the policy this defines for the bucket whereas this portion defines for the objects inside the bucket and then i specify a condition that allow access to the objects and the bucket only if the request comes from data access points that is access points specifically and that too coming from this account the 12 digit unique account id which you can easily find from here i'm going to copy it as it is and paste it here There it is. That's your S3 bucket with three data sets and a bucket policy that allows access only through access point from within your account. Let's go to access point and I'm going to create access point now. We are trying to create access points with policy that allows put request. So create access point. I'm going to name it as 
data user one access point. Now, do you want these access points that you are trying to create accessible via VPC only? This will make the access points quite private. I mean, you can access it from within virtual private cloud only. So you will have to specify the VPC ID that you want to permit or you can permit it and define internet as the network origin which specifies that this access point is usable from anywhere around the world and anybody I mean authorized but of course you need to be authenticated and authorized that's what we are going to put across in the policy who can use it but if you are authorized you will be able to use the access point keeping it simple block public access for this access point as well now this is policy specifically for the access point we have already completed putting policies for the bucket and for the IAM users that we have created we are trying to put the policy for the access point so I allow this ARN the user now where can you find this principal ARN and you can easily find that from IAM identity and access management module <clears throat> and you can find here ARN user data user one copied and just pasted over here action I want to perform get object and put object and through the resource the resource that I'm trying to allow who can perform this action is ARN AWS S3 region 12 digit account ID access point slash whatever is your access point name slash object slash the resource now the resource that I'm going to specify where anybody who has access to this AP access point and in our case it's going to be data user one right will have access in this bucket access to this particular folder data set one that we have created that's what I'm trying to specify so data set one and whatever objects are created inside data set one if I wanted to keep it within the root of this particular bucket I mean at this level itself and not into the folders I would have rather deleted the portion and keep it as only object slash asterisk so let me copy this and paste it for the access point create access point so I could have done the same thing for data user 2 and 3 but before doing that let's go ahead and let's test this out by opening a new window in a new browser I'm not going to use Chrome I'm using a Microsoft Edge browser for this the name of the user is data user 1 let me sign in and here you can see I'm logged in let me go to s3 because data user 1 has limited access through the policy list all my buckets what happens is all the buckets are being listed and here you can see access very clearly specifies insufficient permissions let's say the user gets into the bucket right and tries uploading a file over here so let's click on upload and I wanted to upload this file it fails right that's what we have designed as a part of the lab data user should have minimal access to the s3 bucket but they must have permission to perform put operation only through the access point so when I'm not using the access point and I'm trying to upload a file it's not being permitted let's go ahead and see 
there is the access point that we had created for data user one and let's say data user one assumes or uses the access point by clicking onto it and now you can see he is accessing the content of the bucket but through the access point let's try uploading it here as well i'm trying to use the access point mind it upload why is it that i'm not being able to upload even after using the access point you see the whole idea of the permissions that we have granted defines that only if you perform the operation inside data set 1 will it be allowed right so i will have to get inside the folder data set 1 and then try uploading the file and which should be successful as you can see here right let's see if the user data user 1 can get into data set 2 and try uploading to another data set again it fails that concludes the point that each user or group or application can have individualized access point and this way the applications and the users can avoid stepping toes on each other.